So I got back yesterday after a trip to the ocean. Um, I had gotten stuck at my parents' house in the city for about a week because I was getting my car fixed. Um, but as soon as it was done fixed, I was just really ready to get out of there. So I packed up my car. I set up a little bed in the back because I took all the seats out. And then I set off on a journey. It's such a beautiful morning. Oh my gosh, there's been like a sprinkling of rain, but also the sun is out. Oh. Anytime I take the ferry or go to that side of the state, I get really nostalgic because I grew up going to that area, like by the sea. That's where my grandma lived, so there's always like a lot of really happy memories in that kind of climate, like ferry rides and the seaside. So anytime I go there now, I just am remembering my grandma and it just is the most, I don't know, I, I really cherish those feelings, I guess. Everything about like small little trips by yourself, there's something really magical about them. And yeah, it was just like a really, really fun trip. it is but food tastes better 
when you're eating it outside in nature. Maybe because it's like more special or something. Something about the sounds and the smells of the ocean just really do something for me. Like ignites something so deep within me. It's just so beautiful here. Some animal in the ocean over there. Oh my gosh, that was the cutest thing. There's a family of otters over there. Like a whole family, like four or five of them. I ended up spending the night in a campground that was actually closed. They closed down campgrounds for the winter, but you can still park and stay there. It's just they've locked the bathrooms and shut off the water, so you have to like bring in all of your own stuff, which is completely fine. I've just been running around the forest for the past couple hours, and it's so cold outside, and now I'm just gonna get all cozied up in here. Just for a second, oh wow, this is really cozy. <laughs> mhm. Mm I love camping in the winter because there's only one other person in this whole place and it just feels like I'm totally alone. Feels really nice. Mm. Wow, it is so dark and scary outside. I feel so cozy in here though. I'm really grateful to be in a warm place. <laughs> what should we talk about? Let's talk about secrets. <laughs> now that I think about it, I don't really have any secrets. I share my entire life online. Oh, actually, you know what? I do have something. This is a pretty good one. So after me and Hannah finished traveling in her van, I was kind of extremely sad because, well, first of all, I was leaving her, but also I was kind of falling in love with this guy and I felt like I was never going to see him again. So I sort of stopped in Tennessee to see him again on my way back home. Um, yeah, so I spent like a week there. The day I got there, it just started snowing and snowing and snowing. And it was actually really amazing because Logan's in school right now and his classes were all canceled for a whole week which was pretty amazing we just ran around and drank coffee and it was just so much fun oh my gosh but inevitably I had to come home and that's it I'll tell you something though I am in love with this situation here I am so cozy in this car I am found a new home <laughs> I think for a lot of us, we tend to think like, oh, once we get here in life, or once I com accomplish this, then I'll be happy. Even I was kind of stuck in that because for so many years, I was working towards 
this tiny house and many of the years were just spent saving money for it. It was like this just supreme goal to finish this house, right? I guess I just had it in my head that once I was living there, running around the mountains every day, then I would be happy. And don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm very, very happy, but I still struggle with a lot of the same stuff I've always been struggling with. Those things don't just go away once you accomplish something in the material world, because they're like internal problems. No matter what you accomplish in your material world, it will never give you that fulfillment of the happiness that comes from within. This world is amazing. I'm so happy right now. The sun is coming up. I'm going swimming. There is no one stopping me right now. I am going swimming. It felt really nice to get away for a little bit into a different area and to like just see different things, experience different things. Well, I'll tell you something. That swim felt so luxurious. It felt like all the stress and hardship of winter just kind of vanished and melted away and knowing all the hardships are behind me just feels so good. I actually could cry right now. I really could. I'm just really, I'm grateful for this moment. I'm grateful for this feeling. The moss and all the green. Oh, I miss green. Oh, everything's just been so dead this winter. I love this. <laughs> I feel so much like lighter energetically. Oof. This winter felt heavy and dense. I forgot to brush my teeth this morning and it's starting to really bother me. So I'm gonna use the bathroom on the ferry and brush my teeth. <laughs> Since coming back here, it's kind of like reawakened my whole energy and like spark for life. I'm just genuinely so excited for the spring. The current status on the garden is still a lot of snow and we can't start working the soil and building out the fence until the snow melts. So there's still like probably a couple more weeks. I'm getting real excited here, holy smokes. Okay, the tiny house is officially one giant mess, but it's going to be cleaned. And the feeling of like the air in my lungs <laughs> is just like this indescribable feeling of like complete freedom and lightness. Oh my gosh, I feel so like light and free. It's so beautiful out right now. Like seriously, it is so beautiful right now. <gasps> wow. <laughs> So when I first started working at the store last March, it's been a year 
since I moved here, which is crazy. I didn't have any friends at the store. I don't know, I was kind of shy, I guess. This girl who worked up front, her name's Alicia, she started talking to me and she was like my first friend at the store and she is such a bright light in this world. Oh my gosh, like in the cafe, I started making this like pie to sell and she would buy it like almost every day. <laughs> It was the cutest thing. She loved this pie. And it was her birthday last week, so I made this pie for her. And then also I painted like a couple watercolor paintings of like tarot cards. Happy birthday! Thanks, babe! <laughs> oh my god. I miss this cake. <laughs> this is so dense and beautiful. 
Is that what that is? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Mm. So good. Oh, I love you. Best cake. Oh. So, let me slide back Part. No, I think the hard part is going to be going down that way. I have a couple of cuts on my hands and um, pine resin is really good for healing wounds. It's also like powerful anti-inflammatory and uh, antiseptic. So I'm going to go and harvest some pine resin and I think I'm going to make like a salve to put on like wounds and stuff. It'll just be helpful to have. This pine resin looks kind of like little nuggets of gold. <laughs> this one is like super fresh. You can tell because it's like really gummy. <laughs> so basically I put the pine resin into a jar and then I have water in this pot to heat up the pine resin because I'm going to filter out all of like the dirt and stuff that's inside of it.
Beans are my favorite food, I think. <laughs> They're just so good. It is hot in here. It's hot outside. I think Raquel is coming over at some point tonight. It's really funny because since I don't have service here, I just like never know when someone might just show up. It's actually awesome. I love it. I can promise you one thing. If you visit the tiny house, you'll get a bowl full of cookies. Oh my gosh, this is the best thing I've ever had in my life. Oh. So I let the pine salve harden overnight and basically this is what it looks like. I'm gonna use it on some of my leg wounds that <laughs> I got when I was in Florida. Um, yeah, I got injured a lot actually. I don't know why I'm so prone to injury. I cannot tell you how good this smells. It smells like a pine tree. <laughs> well, duh. <laughs> that was really stupid. It really does though, it smells like a tree. been laying here for like hours at the top of the mountain it's just so nice and so warm I could almost fall asleep just staring at the clouds <laughs> I love being outside I feel like I spend so much time this winter inside it just feels so good up here would you look at it would you just <laughs> oh, it feels so good to just lay.